Harley Cloudy today because I became the weather girl so it's really humid and we're about to take the bike ride back downtown on the west side highway and right now I usually use the electronic one because when I gotta go up hills it's not so difficult for me and they don't have any let me show you but let me show you the view too so here's the bike and then look at my view how beautiful so that's gonna be a bike path really beautiful even though it's cloudy AF waiting but we're gonna go to Zara's and return some of the clothes that I bought from my Zara's haul which I will link up above or down below for you guys to see but the ones that didn't fit and that I didn't like I'm actually returning it so let's hope that the strain stops so I can get my butt back there and get my money back <laughs> But I'm not gonna get it because I don't feel like it does anything for me. But it's cute, it has like that letterman vibe. And briefly, I'm gonna show you my outfit because this is a great mirror right here. This bodysuit is by Aritzia. And these are the shorts that I actually showed you guys at the Zaro's Hall. And I'm just wearing it with some gladiators. So this is my outfit, and then I have my Mark Jacob purse in black. Too. The last time I came to Zara's, there was nobody here. Middle of the week. And it was early in the day. I even told Chris, I was like, oh my god, first time I come into Zara's and there's barely anybody here. Today is Saturday and we're back to square one. Yep. Guess who's stuck in the lounge? What's up guys? Happy afternoon. Today we're on our way out again. My husband is off. I think we're going to go bike riding. We have to run downtown. Let me see if mine fits you better. <laughs> Um, let you borrow my Sergio. Let me borrow it. Let her borrow my Sergio. Oh my god, whatever. So we're gonna run downtown and get me some tofu so I can have some clean dinner tonight. So I figured I'd quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. This top is by Zara's and I ended up keeping the pink shorts from my uh, Zara's haul. And these shoes, I forgot the brand, but um, I'll link it down below. But this is pretty much my outfit for the day. I put my hair up because it's so humid and disgusting. Well, today I actually don't feel good again. I'm feeling off, but last week they were supposed to give me the results for the two tests that I'm waiting for, the barium swallow and the CT scan and they haven't gotten back to me and normally I would call them because I'm so nervous I actually don't want to call but I'm trying to take that as a positive sign that the fact that it's nothing serious if they haven't called me back right because most doctors they will call you back if it's something bad right I'm gonna choose to look at the positive my older brother said the same thing my mom my husband so we're crossing our fingers let's go bitches it's supposed to be 90 degrees today with humidity that is like the worst type of weather. I do not like it at all. And then it's just sticky and disgusting and the city just makes you feel even more dirty. Like this is the type of weather you need to take like three showers just to get out of your home. This is gonna get that right there. It's a cardamom cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. I can't have it for now because I need to change my mind. Exactly, there you go. Change That's my, my mind and start being depressed. Mm -hmm. I'm attempting to have a decaf coffee today. So, here's to my health. Cheers. Thanks. We officially biked from 191st all the way to Battery Park. And this is a grid city, so just put that into perspective meaning it's pretty much a number system. Once after 4th Street becomes Main Street and then we're in Battery Park. How beautiful is this? I 
Yeah. That's my baby. Wave hi, baby. I'm gonna get ginger because I add this to my shakes and this is good for digestion. I don't know if these are organic. You want the big one? That's too big. Yes, I'm trying out for the first time, but this is, I hear, is really good for you. This is culture. So even if you're not vegan, you're looking to add probiotics to your diet. This, I hear, is really good. But I haven't tried it, so I'll get back to you. It doesn't look appealing, though. <laughs> I'm gonna get tofu, organic tofu. Now, the only thing with this is that it's not fermented. Ideally, I want to get the fermented one, but they don't have it here in Whole Foods. I feel like we have to go to like a specialty Asian store and there's not one by us. So this is not the best. I'm only going to try it just for now to see if it helps me with my digestion. Welcome to a new day. The last time I left you guys was at the supermarket at Whole Foods and everything that we bought, I ate. It's a few days later and I ate it. This is why we're broke. I'm here to show you what's new in my wardrobe and in my beauty wardrobe let's get into it bitches okay let's start with the jewelry the jewelry i'm going to show you is from target yes target okay don't come for me don't say it's target i say target because it just sounds prettier <laughs> okay the first earrings that i got are these like bubble type of earrings they're so cute i was like oh my god target you're holding out on me like what's going on because every time i go to target at my local target there's like nothing there. I'm talking about like they don't stock up or I don't know, maybe it's just heavy traffic. And you look at the clothing, at the jewelry, at the makeup, it's like poor, there's nothing there. That same day that I was there, the lady was coming out with these earrings and I was like, hey there, miss. Hey, they're coming home with me and here they are. They're cute, super cute. Like these are look, gonna look so beautiful when I have more of a tan, if I get a tan this summer because time is flying so fast that I can't even fucking keep up with the time anymore. It's crazy, usually by July I have a time, but I can't, I seriously can't keep up with time. It's going so fast. And the worst thing about that is that we can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. It's like somebody slapping me and I'm just taking it. And that's what it feels like. Wow, I went on a tan. These are $12.99 at Target. They came in different colors, I think, but I went for like this goldy green one. These are super cute and I'm glad that I got them actually because they look really nice. These were $2, $2. I don't like buying too much of these type of earrings that finish that just rubs off after a while. But I was like for $2, I mean, come on. Like these are by a company called, what the fuck is the name of the company? It's all culture jewelry on Etsy. And I saw these earrings from another YouTuber. I will link her channel down below and I was like, what? And I love statement earrings. Just love how they look. They're so stylish and fashion forward and sexy and beautiful. And I saw these and I was like, I have to have them. They're, they're handmade. It's by a black owned business and look how gorgeous they are. It's like this metallic finish and I was like, oh my God, it's perfect for the summer because it has like this seashell thing going on here and I just love it. They're so fun. And then the next one that I got by this brand are these. Mamma mia. They have different ones, of course, and they have smaller ones if you're not into statement pieces. But I was like, it's summer and I'm all about like that vibe. I want like that beach bronzed babe type of look and that's where I was going with these and look how cute they are, wow. I mean, okay, this looks weird. <laughs> but like, aren't they so freaking stylish and like badass? They're so sexy. The next few things are makeup. I needed to show you because they're beautiful. My babe bought me the Pat McGrath Venus in Fleur Luxe Quad in Realistic View. Mamma Mia, I know you guys seen this all over because it just dropped. But mommy, when I saw this shit, I was like, holy crap, hola, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I wasn't gonna buy it, right? Because I don't need eyeshadow. I mean, I love eyeshadow. I don't need anything really. But there's this YouTuber that I watch and she's Latina también, so of course, you know, I'm gonna support. I will write her name up here and link her down below. But she was talking about one of these in one of her videos and she started to cry and I was like, I'm fucking done. I'm done. If you cry over an eyeshadow, it's gotta be freaking good. And it is. Okay, wait. 
I don't know about the formula because I haven't used it. Clearly, you can see it's brand new. But looking at the freaking color and I swatched it on my hand, it's freaking ridiculous. It's ridiculously beautiful. Holy crap. Look at this shit. Look, it's a dual chrome. It's so sparkly and I love, love, love eyeshadows like that. I am obsessed with eyeshadows like that. I love them matte, matte, matte or super sparkly. I don't like that in between shit. It's like orange, peach, gold, light. And then you have your standard corner highlight. And then this color is just beautiful. It's like a bricky type of wine, leaning more red. My babe, he bought it for me for part of my anniversary present because our anniversary is July 4th. Oh shit, his gift hasn't come in. And then the last palette that he bought me, the one by Patrick Ta, which looks super dirty. I think I showed this in a different video. Did I show this in a different video? Did I show this in a different video? No, I didn't. It's what I have in my eyes today and I love it. I think it's just stunning. It's just stunning. You know, nothing groundbreaking as far as colors, but the whole setup of this, the way it looks, the shades of the neutrals that are in here, and then the sparkles, it's just a sexy freaking palette. And I love that it's all matte, like really matte. And then you have these two creams, which just enhance the coloring. And then you have all these sparkly, really sparkly colors. It's just beautiful. If you're looking for a new palette, it's a little pricier. Um, but that is sexy and like wearable and every day with like the matte and the sparkly this is your jam And then a shoe a sandal that I bought these sandals I bought locally for 20 bucks and I'm not gonna lie I broke my head I was like should I get them or not because I'm a little like I'm a little bougie I might not be able to afford a lot of the bougie stuff but in my mind I'm super bougie in my mind I'm super rich I'm a princess slash warrior somewhere and I'm living a different life. Sometimes when I come across things like this, I'm like, it's cute, but are you going to like it, Daisy? Because you're so full of yourself. I've been rocking this shit. I've been rocking it. It's super cute. And I was like, oh my God. I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to find something for $20, a shoe locally. It doesn't happen often, let me tell you. It looks super cute with like those flowery dresses and then you put something like this and it just punks it up and edges it up i was like that's diggity damn you should have come in more cute colors for me question of the day what made you smile the day you're watching this video comment down below